how you doing YouTube I figured I was getting ready to change the differential fluids in the front and back of my Viking side by side I've never changed these uh, so I figured it'd be a good idea to do it it has 2,000 miles on it and uh, it's kind of important to the farm to have it uh, makes a lot less work with that being said, uh, very few tools you need to do this. Uh, first off, you're going to need a bucket to put your oil in. Second off, I recommend using the 8090 weight shaft drive oil that Yama Lube makes. Uh, it's, and it states in your manual, the API GL4, GL5, uh, but this is pretty pretty good oil and I, you could probably i wouldn't recommend just using a regular 80 90 weight it's a lot thicker than this oil but uh you also need a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet and i have this funnel but i don't believe it's going to work for that hole so you may have to play around with it there a little bit. Maybe find something and make something up in here. I, I'm not sure yet. We'll just see what happens. But I already broke the screws or the, this is the fill hole for it, which again, I'll just have some starting fluid, parts cleaner, whatever. Clean it up there a little bit. This stuff cleans up really good. And I'll just spray it there, clean it up a little bit. You can tell me having my rubber gloves on. Uh, no oil in the top hole. Uh, from what I understand by reading everything, that is what you want to fill it to. So when it comes out of the top hole, you will. Uh, be full. So I'm just gonna go in here, clean this up a little bit better with the rag. There we go. And that is a small hole. So it probably will be a little bit rough to uh, get some oil back in there. But and this this fill hole will be on the passenger side of the machine and it's hard to get the camera down there but if you can see there's a big old piece of stick if you can see this hole right there in the belly pan right above that is your drain for the rear differential so all I'm going to do is take that out I have ran the side by side previous before I've done this. And there she goes. Looks pretty good though. It don't look real dirty at all. In my opinion. I could be wrong. But it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that drain, which it is going all over the belly pan of the machine. And uh We'll see what happens. We'll just put both of these bolts where we won't lose them. And I don't know if you can see that draining down in there, but it is draining. And like I said, it's a quite a mess. But let's let this drain out and we'll put some oil back or some 80 90 weight shaft drive oil back in it from Yama Loop. Okay, guys, it's Pretty much done draining out uh, actually got a cow drenchers what they call them and you pretty much use it for cattle to put worm or whatever in. you just can uh, squeeze it on their backs or whatever uh, had an extra one so I'm gonna give this a try and we'll see what happens and uh, kind of stand with me here and we'll get the bolt put back in the bottom. Uh, 
get it started. It started there. Pretty well finger tight. I'll put the ratchet on. I will say, which that's going to be a pain in the butt. I have a feeling. It has some oil mixed with it. I know it's kind of hard to see. It does have some gray in it. Hopefully it's not that bad. And we will now open up the bottle here and uh, we'll just see. I figured it'd have a cap on it. Okay. So, all I'm going to do now is uh, actually suck some of this up in the drencher. Okay, that's what it looks like when you suck it up in the drencher. And what we'll, we'll do now is put it I'm trying to get a decent camera angle on this but my magnet is not wanting to cooperate so you can see the holes right there so we will put that uh, spilled some I guess to be expected a little bit so that is almost 50 cc's, is what this goes by. As dirty as that oil was, I'll probably, I may do this again pretty soon. There we go, I didn't leak much at all that time. Like I said, from what I read in the manual, you're just pretty much waiting on it to come out. And, and these drenchers actually for this is pretty good. Works pretty good and they ain't that expensive. It's two of them that we put in there so far. And like I said, I'm just kind of holding that thing. It kind of fits right in the hole. And pushing in. And still really ain't running out. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get a little bit of leakage every time. But... Spitter right there. Like I said, I'm just drawing it out of the and I just kind of keep wiping it off there, make sure no foreign objects get in the Okay. 
pretty well full now. Well, up here. That's easy, pretty well full, is burping it out. So we'll put the put the screw back in it here, or bolt. Make sure the washer's on it. And hang tighten this. Put the ratchet on it here. Cool. Uh, that took about five of these, and I'll, I'll say that worked out pretty good. Uh, now all I'm going to do is clean up my rubber gloves. Like I said, guys, rubber gloves is a must if you're going to work on stuff. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... My hands get dirty enough at work and hard to keep clean anyhow, so. All right, pretty well cleaned up. We'll just uh, keep checking that often and make sure we don't have no leaks. But, uh, so that would be your rear differential. Like I said, fuel cap is on passenger side from what I've seen in uh, the hole. You can see my finger sticking up right there is where your drain is for your rear differential. Uh, again, it's the first time I ever changed mine and it should have been changed a long time ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but i never done it, so you can't cry to ever spilt milk. Do I think it'll hurt the machine? No, I don't believe so. But uh, we'll get, we'll go around the front there and we'll see what transpires. But also just to show you, this was full. And I'm going to say a few 16. We used uh, about half of it to do it. I bought two of them on eBay. Uh, again, it was actually cheaper than going to my dealer. But, uh, guys, it'd be a good time now to click the subscribe button and uh, like the video. Helps out the channel a lot. So if you don't mind, do that. And uh, we do we do a good bit of some contests that. Uh, Sometimes I'll just say write something in the comments and uh, win you a gift card. So, but let's get around to the front. We'll change the front out. Okay, guys, we're around to the front. It's a little bit more uh, interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but there is the bolt. Or it has a, I can't tell, it looks like a Torx or an Allen. But we got it broke free. And I'm going to say that one, one of those right there, yeah, it's the bigger one, is your, uh, would probably be your fill. It's a little bit too big. Now all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a light up here. All I'm doing is trying to find a socket that fits it and it is being a little bit stubborn. Get my other. Yeah. I know it's a metric. 
There it is. So it'd be 21 millimeter metric. And actually, I have one. Hooray, hooray. I only got my half inch drive. So. Tight. This, to my knowledge, this one has never been changed either. Again, before I take that out, I will spray some starting fluid slash sports cleaner. Well, one thing, nothing actually, uh, Came out. So, and now we'll get under here and try to get this drain plug out. Which, like I said, I already broke it loose. So we'll just have to. Rest of the way out. Sorry for the camera jumping all over the place, but it's kind of it's kind of hard to get up in this area. And here she comes. Uh, that oil looks ten times better than the rear did. Very much to it. And this is all the. I'll lay it down here on the. I don't want to lose that brass. It's all the plug. I don't see no. If it's magnetic, I don't see nothing on it. But we'll let that drain out and we'll put it back. Yeah, that's, 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 that's real clear. Huh? I don't think there was a whole lot in it, but I will say it is better than changing the rear. It ain't going to make a mess all over the belly pan from what I'm seeing. So let's let that drain out, and we'll come back and put oil in it. Okay, guys. Uh, got the bottom plug back in. Uh, started filling this so I don't think it's going to take much more but we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put another pump in it make sure it's topped off and it is I'm going to keep some of that extra in there I don't think it'll hurt it uh but boy, it's gonna be hard to get your my hand. Okay, there she be. Get that started. This is fine thread, so you don't want to take a chance. And we got it started. So, pretty much all you want to do now is tighten up, guys, uh, with your ratchet, and then, which I got, like I said, these rubber gloves, I love them, but it's hard to turn smooth stuff with them once they get oily. But, anyhow, that's how you change your differential wheel in a Yamaha Viking 700 side by side. Uh, if you know of any way easier than using a drench gun, please uh, write it down there in the comments. But uh, anyhow, guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. We do some giveaways on this channel. Uh, also, there's some that ain't even been uh, people not watched videos enough to. 
uh, get the codes or the secret words or so forth. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.